Hi guys, my name is Christine and I'm a dating, relationship and personal development coach. And today I'm talking about what to do when she breaks up with you. Okay, so this is the best option that you have when a woman breaks up with you, okay? So the first thing, and this is where a lot of people go wrong, usually when people find my videos, they've already gone past this point and it hasn't quite, they didn't quite have the response that they, um, they didn't quite have the response that I'm going to give, okay? And uh, that is to stop fighting it. So stop fighting as in stop trying to talk to your ex to try and persuade her to come back. You have to just gracefully accept it, okay? So this is, you do this by saying something like when she breaks up with you, okay, um, that's, that's fine. Um, obviously, I would really love it if we didn't break up, but I don't want to be with someone that doesn't love me. Okay, um, so, you know, if you change your mind about it, you got my contact info, and then you never speak to her again. And you go directly into the contact. Now, some people get a bit mad at me for saying, here's my contact info, right? So what you, what you got to, you know, if you change your mind about it, basically, if you change your mind about breaking up with me, here's my contact info. Now, some people get mad at me for saying that which is fair enough, because sometimes they are actually dealing with a woman they shouldn't be get, trying to get back with, okay? But sometimes a woman breaks up with you, and it may have been something that was your fault, that you did. So it could have been something like, um, you know, perhaps you got a bit too needy, perhaps you wasn't really um, pulling your weight in the relationship, or something like that. Um, perhaps she had a really good reason to break up with you, and she's actually a decent person, okay? So that's what I say to people... Um, who the when your ex is actually a normal nice human being and they're not a narcissist they're not toxic in any way this was someone that you think oh my god i really lost a good one by being by by my dumb actions or whatever it was right however right there are some women out there that you shouldn't be getting back with that you know you shouldn't be getting back with right so you need to take into consideration the context of your past relationship right who is this person who is this woman right do you actually want to get back with her? Then if you don't want to get back with her, then there's no reason for you to say, here's my contact information if you change your mind. You should be like happy. You should be like, yes, okay, good. I'm glad. I'm glad you're gone, right? <laughs> that's just, you know, if, if, that's, if that's true, right? But if you do want her back, if you feel like this is a big misunderstanding and you just messed up and you're like, oh my no, oh no, this is a good person. I really like to try and work things with this person. Then say, here's my contact information if you change your mind. You have to take into consideration the person you are dealing with, right? Because some people are losing bad eggs, which is great, but some people are also losing good eggs, which is bad, and they want to get back with them, okay? And they have the right reasons to be getting back with them, okay? So after you've stopped fighting it and you've gracefully accepted it, then you've got to go into the no contact rule, okay? And the no contact rule, for those who may be new watching this video, is where you do not speak, you do not contact with your, do no contact with your ex at all. That means no liking their posts, no watching their stories, no messaging them, no phone calls, no leaving voicemails. You do nothing. You do zilch, right? You don't interact with them in any way whatsoever on social media or on the phone or anything like that. You do not talk to them at all. And the reason why you do no contact is because it reveals to you how they actually feel about you. Because someone that loves and cares about you will notice your silence, worry that you're then that you're not coming back, that you're never going to talk to them again, and therefore they reach out to you first by messaging you or calling you up. Okay, someone that doesn't love you, that doesn't care about you, you'll just never hear from them again. It will just fizzle out, right? So that's what no contact does. It reveals to you how your ex feels about you. Okay. That's all that it is, okay? So the important thing though about the no contact rule is that when you start applying the no contact rule, you shouldn't be waiting by the phone hoping that your ex is gonna message you and call you up because you don't know, right? No one's a mind reader, okay? I can't predict if your ex is gonna reach out to you. You can't predict if your ex is going to reach out to you, okay? So you don't wanna be waiting by the phone because you never know. You just don't know if they're coming back. No one knows. Okay, your ex may know, but you don't know. 
right? So it's best not to wait by the phone. You just got to let it go and you've got to continue with your life. Perhaps fill your time up with projects that you really like, things that excite you, perhaps taking care of yourself, exercising, making you, making you feel good about yourself. Because a lot of the time when someone breaks up with and they get dumped, right? They start to do things that are burning the candle at both both ends and they start doing things that are destructive, okay? So that means they start to eat too much or drink too much, um, uh, play video games too much, you know, kind of avoiding life too much, right? So when you someone breaks up with you, you need to do things that make you feel proud of yourself. So that means you need to exercise regularly, you need to eat the right things, you need to be working on things so that you feel like you're progressing in life, like you're, you've got goals that you're working towards and you work on them every single day. Doing that is crucial, right? And I recommend that you, you know, go back like 10 or 20 seconds just so you can hear that again, okay? That's really important that you do that, right? You can't be burning the candle at both ends, it's not going to make you feel good about yourself. You already feel crappy, she already dumped you, you don't want to make it worse by doing destructive things to yourself. Okay, you need to take care of yourself. If you really need it, get a therapist. I can't give therapy because I'm only a life coach. But you need to, if, if you feel like you need therapy and you're going through a really horrible turmoil time and you're doing things that are destructive, you need to talk to a therapist. You need to get a counsellor, something. Okay. Um, so you've got to be working on yourself so you can become proud of yourself. And there's a quote that I like to use, um, and I've been using it a lot recently. And that is, inaction breeds doubt and fear. Inaction breeds doubt and fear, right? So if you're not taking action on your goals goals, and you're just sitting around being idle, it's going to make you more fearful and doubt yourself more, okay? But action breeds confidence and courage, right? So taking action on your goals will make you feel better about yourself and make you feel uh, more confident about yourself, okay? If you want to conquer fear, do not sit at home and think about it. Go out and get busy. Okay, and that's a quote by Dale Carnegie. Very, very powerful. Okay, so the next thing, don't post anything negative on social media, right, that she might see or her friends might see. Because you might not have her on social media anymore, but you might have some of her friends. Or you might, your posts may be public so they can look at them. Okay, don't post anything negative on social media. Don't post anything that could be directly pointed towards your ex or maybe even indirectly. Because sometimes people make posts and they think they're subtly making a dig at their ex when actually, you know, their ex can actually tell, you know, because your ex is not stupid, right, it's, it's, even though you may feel like they are, right, they will know if you're posting about them, if you're posting something about them, they'll be able to read between the lines and take the context, okay, so don't post anything that's sad, that's mopey, that's um, maybe even angry towards your ex, don't post anything at all that's negative, if you're going to post on social media, post an accomplishment, post something positive, but again, you don't want to word it in a way, or direct it in a way, so it looks like it's for your ex, Do it. if you're going to post anything, post for you, and post your accomplishments, okay, but don't post that frequently anyway, if you want to appear more mysterious on social media, don't, you know, post maybe like once every two months, or something like that, don't post all the time, okay, it, it doesn't, it doesn't make you look mysterious, basically, so if she contacts you, now, now that you're doing the no contact rule, it's then for you to decide what you want to do, if you feel like you lost a good egg, if you, if you lost a good person, and you would really like her back, then if she contacts you, and the way that she will break no contact is by messaging you, or calling you up, don't take anything like likes, don't take anything like her viewing your stories or her adding you, or, you know, or re-adding you or re-following you as any sign, right? Okay, that's not important. What's important is that she contacts you via message or call, okay? That's the only thing you should take seriously. Ignore the rest. Just because she liked your post doesn't mean that you should like her post. Let her do all of that, right? Let her do all of that. So if she messages you and calls you up and starts to break no contact, right? It's for then for you to decide what you should do. So if she's a good person and you feel like you lost a good person and you'd really like her back and you still love her, you still care about her, you, you think you can work it out, then you say to her, it's great to hear from you. When are you free to hang out? Let's have a catch up. That's all you need to say, okay? That's all you need to say. Now, if you don't want her back and you feel like oh, you can get a better now, you can get a better person, or you feel like this, this woman was toxic anyway, and you don't want it back because she had like maybe some things that you weren't happy about, or she had some behaviours that you weren't happy with, then just ignore it. That's all you need to do. Just don't speak to her. Block her if you must. 
okay? So that's what you should, you should do when she breaks up with you. Um, and if you follow those rules, you'll be able to get the success that you want, whether it's with her or if it's with someone else, okay? So thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to get in touch with me personally, then please go to www.christineloveridge.com. Thank you so much for watching, and I shall talk to you again very soon. Goodbye.